we're live. Oh, hello, oh ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> and welcome to Friday Night Overwatch here on the Council Gaming League. Uh, I'm Corvac, joined here by Maza, Swift, and Skate Action with our lovely uh, Sultan here as our production slash host. How are you doing this evening, Sultan? Oh, fantastic. I'm, I'm excited for Friday Night Overwatch again. Obviously, got a pretty good uh, turnout last week. Looking for a similar result here. Got some uh, solid passing lineups and good games. Looking forward to. So yeah, should be good. That's great, man. That's great. We've got exciting matchups this week. Uh, first match of the day is going to be Dignity versus Baihu down here in T3 Overwatch uh, on Xbox. Uh, I'll be casting that game with Skate. Uh, you know, a bit of a bit of a mismatch, mismatch, right? In terms of record skate, how do you uh, how do you think this one's gonna go? It's it's unfortunately a little bit of a mismatch for uh, for Baihu, but <clears throat> that being said, this is a team that you and I actually played in our tier three matchup a couple of weeks ago, and this is not a team to be taken lightly. They will be in this to compete, and I think they can give dignity a run for their money. Yeah, you know, I'm I'm feeling I guess similar about it as well. Uh, the Baihu team we have played against actually you and I skate, so we know that they're 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 no pushovers. Uh, they put up a fight when we played them, and and they've got some quality on that team. So I think it will be an interesting uh, matchup at least to see them square off uh, against Dignity. Of course, though, like you said, Dignity coming in pretty strong, and I. Give me, forgive me if I'm wrong, Skate, but I think we have actually scrimmed against Dignity as well. Uh, I seem to remember a salty Irishman as a gamer tag think, that we uh, had to suffer against. I think actually some of the members of this team are came from another team that disbanded oh, okay, uh, okay. this past week, maybe within the past week. Uh, so yeah, we we actually have played against uh, probably 60 to 70 percent of the players in this lobby. So we should be able to give some insights during the match of who to watch out for. Yeah, I was going to say there's a lot of familiar names, at least for me on there, uh, of people that I've had the misfortune of having to play against. What am I saying? No, who had the misfortune of playing against me? <laughs> you know, oh boy. Uh, well, uh, but, you, know. <laughs> you know, Swift, Maza, I don't know if you guys want to jump in, if you have any interesting sort of insights about this matchup or just insights, I guess, about kind of the T3 level of play in general. I think this is a must win for Bayou at this point. Like you're down three nothing, like oh three right now in this season. Like you can't go down oh four. You know, like this is basically like it's, it's make or break right now. You know, if you want to have a shot at playoffs and you know go beyond that, I think you have to start picking up wins. And you know, here's where you have to start doing it. Yeah, I mean, I've been following Bayou a lot. Dignity's a little new, but Bayou preseason, right? Like they've they're working with a couple of different companies on their graphics. I know they've got a ton of people involved on their coaching staff so they've they've got the resources um I, I think it might just be a matter of getting this team together short notice so it's taking a little time to get their groove rolling but they've, they've definitely got what it takes down 0-3 they're going to need to storm back to make a to make the playoffs i'm ex i'm interested to see how dignity comes out i don't know anything about dignity um aside from some of the the research coming into this but um should be a good game man lot to uh a lot to lose for dignity and uh by who's you know gonna leave it all out there? They can lose for dignity. Seriously? No. <laughs> oh, no. oh man! <laughs> the dignity jokes—they write themselves. The dad jokes are like <laughs> the dad jokes. Um, yeah, no. So I, I'm I'm excited about that. Um, the, these guys, there's a lot going on. If you don't follow them, I know by who has a Twitter. It's by who GG. Check them out. I don't know. Do you guys know? Does Dignity have a Twitter? I don't know. Off the top of my head. I couldn't find it. I tried to do a little bit of digging around. So anyone in chat, if you know that by that dignity's got a Twitter, drop it for us. Digging for dignity over there. I just want to factor in the girl polls for us. Uh, yeah, you know, Hero Pools, they, they're adding a little bit of uh, variety this week as well, right? I think Lucio getting banned, at least for me, is, is, a, is a big loss, right? Um, he is one of those heroes that feels that when you're playing him, it often sometimes feels like you're not doing very much, but he is so impactful. The speed boost, the lack thereof really, I think changes the way that teams have shifted. And at least in my scrims this week, like personally, I think we've been kind of struggling to adapt in a world where he's just not our off support, you know, with a solid defensive ultimate, the ability to move the team around quickly and the ability to heal, like in the area radius, uh, you're, you're losing a lot there. Um, and people have been trying to adapt. As well. 
Yeah, that's true. He is often very much the, the shot caller role. And I, I think there are teams that are, are definitely missing that as well. Um, it, it's harder perhaps to get as much of a a top-down perspective or a big enough perspective from other supports, in my opinion, at least, uh, to do his accurate shot calling. But that's just my experience. Skate, you're actually you're a support player as well, so I'd love to hear mm -hmm. what you think of that. <clears throat> I think that's huge, actually, banning Lucio. Lucio is one of those staples that he just kind of fits any comp, depending on what you're going to do. If you don't know what you want for a second support, Lucio's never a bad choice. That speed is is killer. It's a huge advantage in a lot of fights, and to take something like that away or just the general AoE heals that he's able to provide constantly is, is a big game changer. So I'm curious to see what these teams come out with uh, to attack this kind of lineup, since we don't have anything that's you know, a big jump on you type comp, no Symmetra either. So you can't teleport to cheeky spots to try and get a get an attack. You can't have a Farah flanking from a different angle flying over. So I think we're, we're in for a lot of double shield, a, a lot more slower action than we probably had last week. Yeah, no yeah, Daria I, probably means like no Reinhardt either. I mean, right, right so no Lucio. Yeah, probably a lot of Sigarissa. Yeah. The double shield coming back in. Actually, now that I think about it, Swift, you're also a support main. <laughs> it's a support main, support main uh, caster desk right now. Do you have any thoughts about, you know, the hero ban? I mean, I think we could talk about all, right, but just in, in the perspective of Lucio in particular. I mean, I, mean I, I play I play support, I guess, if, if you know, playing fragging out on Zen counts as support. I mean, you, you know. <laughs> You, you do what you do what you gotta do no i mean I don't, I don't have much else to add i think the inclusion of or the the nerf not nerf goodness gracious the the ban of lucio is going to be impactful especially because he's just core to everything that you run we'll see what it we'll see what what this ends up being it might just be just you know bunkers all day so we'll see is there any chance we see dive oh for sure yeah you can see dive like why wouldn't you Right? Like, not on the same kind of speed, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they say that it's coming back, right? Uh, but that oh, may so be primarily. Yeah. <laughs> no. We've got dive friendly maps. <laughs> Well, we do have so, dive friendly maps. That's true. Uh, starting off on Oasis, you know, kind of wide open, uh, some good wide open spaces on at least two of those maps. Um, what is it Center City Center is is a good one for that with a lot yeah. of high options and stuff. Um, so yeah, you could. I guess you could see dive. I don't know. Um, without Echo being in the pool yet, because Echo's not coming until next week in the CGL. Um, all of you budding Echo mains will be happy to know. I do wonder <laughs> about the efficacy of it, but I don't know. What do you, I mean, what do you think, Mozzie? You're the one who, you're the one who brought it up, so. Uh, for, I think Echo is very, very interesting, honestly. Like, uh, it depends really on what we see with her. I mean, like Mercy will be available right next week or I yes. actually forgot. Okay, so obviously Mercy Frig, are, Frig is sorry, next Mer week, man, yeah, I yeah. think. Mer Mercy Echo is uh, a very, very good combo. So it, you can basically treat that like it's a Far Mercy in a way, only maybe get even more value out of it. Um, plus, you know, it's a better ultimate than Barrage, right? So I mean, most of the time, you know, I, I would think so. Yeah, I, I mean, next, I think that's actually going to be very, uh, very interesting to see if teams can adapt to, to Echo like immediately and, you know, if they, they want to run it, you know, so quickly. I've seen a lot of hype. <laughs> I don't know. That's not my personal experience. There are a lot of people who seem very to trot out the echo, but whether or not we actually have to suffer through uh, that that killer robot yeah. <laughs> is one thing or another. But we'll see. I mean, scale. You you know as well as I do, right? That people have been chomping at the bit to play the echo. At least we've seen they have. Our, our, and yeah. as a support main, she scares the hell out of me <laughs> with what she can oh, do. Absolutely, she is scary. Yeah, she is scary. Yeah, absolutely terrifying. Well, I think we're in a good spot. Maybe I think we have both teams yep. in the lobby. Are they both all ready yep, to go? Yep, they are both uh, pretty much yeah. ready to go, so we can uh, kind of roll into match number one whenever we're ready. Fantastic. We appreciate you guys joining us for Friday Night Overwatch. We have a double header for tonight. Xbox up first, Xbox. Um, both America, Team Dignity, and Bayou. And right after that, we've got a little bit of a, a mid-show, some analysis about the first game, talk about the second one, which will be a PlayStation game. Uh, so don't go anywhere. Yeah. That one Pretty exciting as well. Got a nice double header again on Friday Night Overwatch. So we got a team here, got the crew, got all the comments here in Overwatch that you need. Don't go anywhere. We're going to get the game started here in just a second. I'm excited for this one. It should be good. Now, I like what we're saying, Bayou coming in 0 3. Uh, you know, you really want to, this is kind of make or break 
hate to see it this early in the season, but you gotta win this one. Yeah. See what they can do here. Yeah, you do. It, it is definitely make or break time. Uh, Mazda was not wrong with that. Uh, you, if you go in zero and four, things are looking uh, looking a little grim. Uh, suffice to say. So hopefully they'll be able to wrench it back. Uh, obviously, though, I think in my personal experience, King of the Hill maps are always a great kind of demonstration of individual skill on teams in terms of the there's not as many kind of weird strategies you can use maybe to get around difficult points it's more of a it's more of an actual clash so we'll see i mean uh, probably we can tell a lot coming out of the first map yeah absolutely yeah we'll see how this uh, no lucio plays on these control points because everything that i've yeah. seen in scrims this week it feels like an eternity to get to the point without lucio he's such a staple in these control points so it's wild to see what uh, what healing combos we have because it really opens you up for some creativity for those healing combos it's nothing's for sure i think if we're going to be seeing a lot of double shield we're probably going to see a lot of moira mercy if i had to guess yeah i i agree you're probably correct and and you know if you move back into uh looking at numbani which is the next map in the rotation i do think also the the speed boost struggles a little bit there as well right uh you lack the ability to aggressively reposition your team once they're moving in on an objective point you know the ability to move into room kind of bait and roll back out down the street or something like that that just completely fades away uh mm -hmm. in the context of having to worry about um, maybe just taking more straight up brawls. And I do think it makes those high ground areas just a little bit harder to access. You know, a really good Lucio can help you harass people who are holding those spots and you, you don't really have that anymore. So you do have to reassess. Um, so I think Numani is, uh, is, a, is, is not a significantly harder defense to crack now, but I think it is a harder defense to crack for a lot of teams. Yeah, I think so too. And uh, yeah, the, I, man what a what a week of hero bands this just really shakes things up i think it's going to get a lot of not only tanks but a lot of supports and and dps as well out of their comfort zone you don't have these staples that we've seen for that kind of brawl we want to get on you slow moving death ball type comp so no sorry and no lucio I, you know we talked so much about lucio last week though surprisingly corvick with the with the way dog thanatos played in that right. xbox game you're right we'll we get that this week we will get no big boots you know, the city enough. is closed for the time being i so. was literally thinking about that earlier today yeah it's such a tragedy <laughs> we don't yeah. have the we don't have the high flag uh, environmental kill action that we were used to there. Uh, looks like our teams are ready, so we will be transitioning into our first map, which will be Oasis, uh, the fine city of Oasis, home of everybody's uh, favorite healer, Moira, or Skate's favorite healer. I should... <laughs> A lot of people don't like her. I don't know why. <laughs> oh, yeah, don't lie. Don't, Scott. <laughs> We will say favorite, he says, as he takes off the Moira shirt underneath his uh, CGL jersey. No, right nobody there. needs to know. You know. By the way. Uh, oop, and we're just testing the pause button there. Nothing to panic yeah. about. Always gets me every time, though. I tell you what. <laughs> just making sure it works. <laughs> oh, oh. Uh, uh, yeah, we're good. We're good. As we get the uh, layout here of what these two teams will be running and a, and a double hit scan choice on one side skate and on the other, kind of a, a little bit maybe more of a standard idea. Uh, the McCree and the uh, Junkrat there coming in. So much more of a bunker oriented comp, but I would say uh, a little bit more aggressive there with him. Andy Hipster Five. and uh, yeah. on that Ana and then Ventral Islands on the Rhine. Yeah, a little clash of styles here, it looks like. So I'm interested to see how these two are kind of going to butt up against each other. I, I don't know how much value they're going to get out of that soldier against the double shield. I don't expect they will stay on that for too long. Well, Junkrat already slinging grenades over the top here, but Dignity already securing the high ground early on. Going to be a little bit of rotation here, like two people just circling each other before a fight. Somebody deciding who wants to go in first. But really, no movement yet, Skate. They're fixed. <laughs> no, we <laughs> weren't. Baihu slowly making their way onto the point here as it opens up. But uh, yeah, we, we just see Dignity playing from the high ground and finally dropping down, it looks oh, like. Oh no, this isn't good. Whoa. Nebula way overextended, got caught out by the flash. Somehow goes down, uh, not perhaps unsurprising. Great little play from Mortal Meister there with full control of the high ground. Uh, a little too eager on the half of Nebula and that will force the rest of the team back. 
uh, Baihu running for the exits, as it were, not quite making it out all the way. You can see uh, rubber vibration, vibration uh, <laughs> on the hold there. That name, I don't know, it makes me feel uncomfortable. It's like the word moist. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it just sounds Got weird it. to say, right? Yeah, it just sounds weird. <laughs> But, know uh, you know, we talked a little bit about how slow this might develop, and things are developing extremely slow so far with yeah. the absence of Lucio. Well, if it was football, they would say it was a very pacey match here as they begin <laughs> yeah. to move in. Nebula moving around the outside. Oh, it's early tack visor, though. The immortality field comes up. It's a great shield, but it's not enough to keep Nebula alive. You hear the high noon coming out as well, but no real value out of that. Pulse Pingo will lose the mech at the end of it all. And once more, Baihu kind of having to fall back here. And again, Mortal Meister with this high ground control just unrelenting in the fire he's laying down from up there. He's, he's almost a third of his way back to his ult. Yeah, and we see the side of Dignity here just kind of spread out as that fight developed. They they have this nice little flanking comp where you have Mortal Meister up on the high ground getting pocketed by the oh, ho, ho! And then Spider attacking on the other side. Getting Mortal Meister out of the action. Now that high ground cover gone. The Overwatch is missing, dare I say it, as they'll come back in. Nebula gets slept early on, though. Mortal Meister rezzed again, but they've already lost Spider and Irishman on the point. This could be disaster here for Dignity. A huge charge off the side by Nebula 2 to take Ventral out of the fight. And it does look like finally, after a couple of hard pushes there, by who has secured, mostly on the back of some excellent shooting by Gizmo. Yeah, Gizmo coming in clutch there, able to get that early pick on Meister, and then Salty Irishman went up to try and get that res, got the res off on Mortal Meister, but died at the same time, so paying the ultimate price there on that res, and just never got the full 6v6 on that fight. Well, now we get to see Baihu on a more direct attack route here. A slight effort by Mortal Meister to kick out to the flank, going all the way around the back. There comes the High Noon, and on the front, oh, they'll get Rubber Vibration out early, but Spider pays for it with his life. The fight's still going on. Boom over the top. They have no shield for that. Oh, no. Drunken Gizmo goes down. The Immortality might have saved a handful there, though. Allows them to continue the fight at least for a little bit. Bob getting thrown into the action on the other side as well. That'll cost them Handy Hipster. That is a big hit here. Really just the mercy left for the healing. Nebula kind of uh, sucking the enemy Reinhardt there into the charge. And that will take Ventral Island down as well. Spider going down. Tackbys are coming in now. Mortal Meister on the backside trying to salvage something from the situation with the ult but can't get anything and is forced to flee there back to the spawn. Yeah, this double shield comp, we see Nebula playing that Reinhardt a little more aggressively than you tend to see him. He's actually playing that Reinhardt in like an off tank type situation where he's actually aggressively charging and trying to create even extra space than that Orisa is already creating. Uh, playing very cagey here, the ultimates in favor of Baihu at the moment, but can they use them? Good little grapple yeah, fire strike there. Cost pulls Pingu a me right. mech and Mortal Meister is down. High noon from the top rope doesn't really get anyone, but it opens up the huge shatter from Nebula who pushes straight forward, splits the team and gets two right there. No, make it three. Two and a half, baby diva. I don't know how we <laughs> two and a half. We'll days. call it two and a half. <laughs> we'll call it two and a half. <laughs> and no it doesn't look like gonna we're going to get a that. touch with no Lucio here. That's the other oh, no. thing. You don't have to stall the Lucio to get back to point. Oh, Ryan touches! Rolled on, Ryan comes charging a big shatter from the Ryan, but is it enough? Oh, I don't think so. Rubber Vibration and Drunken Gizmo combining there. They'll throw in Pingu with the Nano, but Pingu's gone off. He's running out to the outside. Pingu doesn't hold the point. He doesn't stall. Oh, no. Big mistake there from the D.Va player. Went straight off for Drunken Gizmo. Did not stall out the points, Kate. No, and I, I gotta wonder why we didn't see a switch maybe over to ball there to try and get back and stall i think diva was only at about 65 70 percent on that alt and that's not really enough time you, you're i think you're better off there for going the alt charge and getting that ball and just getting that mobility especially on a point like that where you can swing around for almost an eternity Indeed, it was a bit of a misplay, I think, but I mean, they tried to re re recover it. Unfortunately, not enough time for anyone else to get back. Uh, interesting choices coming out here on DPS. Drunken Gizmo going over the Torbjorn. Mortal Meister will be picking up the Reaper and Spider will be playing the Soldier now uh, for Dignity. 
Not sure what to make of that. They'll come in through the short here. Both teams opting to go through hallway as they push their way in. Or no, coming underneath was Baihu. Baihu already oh, touching okay. the edge of the point. They'll throw out the Torbjorn turret, but look at this high ground command here from Dignity. Just gonna drop shots down on top of them. Turret says goodbye pretty early on. Slice Lock taken out of it, and that could be bad here. The Baptiste heals will be sorely needed as Nebula gets caught off and brought down the entire lines of this battle just reversing as they'll rotate around the back side up on the high ground a little bit of a fight there with drunken gizmo trying to take out spider but it means ultimately nothing as dignity storms forward and takes the point with just a little bit of good maneuvering there skate to be honest yeah i i think that high ground was just a very nice play they they decided that since it looked like that Baihu was coming in from the underneath they had the soldier out in front to scout did dignity and the rest of the team got the call from the soldier to go up top and just take the high ground anakin <laughs> Take the high ground, Anakin. Uh, they've been reading. They've been reading their art. Okay, they've been reading. Yeah. Uh, you know, very applicable. He was actually a top 500 uh, Lucio main, so he, he knew all about it. Anyway, rotating around the outside edge there, uh, trying to figure out Cosmic Al kind of pushing forward on the Rhine now as Nebula getting underneath on the Roadhog. So a little bit of change in tanks. Down drops the Reaper, and here comes the rest of the team behind him. There's an early tack visor from Spider. Goodbye, Tasby. Uh, they'll take out the immortality. Oh. Ice off will go down as well. And rubber vibration. Why not? And then one more nebula in the bag. Spider with four eliminations there. Ooh. Ventral Island and Pulse Pingo both helping out a little bit. But ooh, a devastating performance. And where have we seen a soldier on the high ground wrecking before, uh, Skate? I feel like we've seen this. <laughs> I think we think we have. I think we talked about it in the first half. Recent memory. Recent memory. But, yeah, very, very recent. But uh, I, at first, when I saw the three alts, I, I didn't think they needed the three after the attack visor kills. But looking at the alt economy here, yeah. it didn't really hurt dignity at all, as they still have the alt advantage over Baihu going into this this last push here if uh, Baihu Ooh. cannot cap the point. Coming from the low grounds again. They've tried this before. It didn't quite work out last time, but they'll force their way onto the point here. Spider still has high ground advantage, pouring it onto the supports. It's Slice Lock going down again. Mortal Meister unleashing the ultimate there. Survives for about half a second, but gets Ooh. the kills. Pulse Pingu really the one who's doing the cleanup work today. Uh, and that'll burn down the last of them. And Baihu completely without answers here, Skate, as we move through gardens. Yeah, that's pretty straightforward. Spider had the high ground, and that was the difference in that map. Just never able to get Spider off of that high ground. I think uh, on the side of Baihu, you might want to think about that going into this map is you got to get that soldier uncomfortable. You got to move him around. <laughs> You, you, you can't just let him sit there and fire on you because he will make you pay. Although this map doesn't really pay into that as much. So we do have a slight high ground on the one side here at University. But uh, a little Spider, more brawly on porn. Spider has actually switched over to the May. No longer will he be, you know, nope. the Black Widow lurking up there in the corner of your bathroom. Uh, <laughs> you're going to have to deal with it eventually. He's not going away. No, uh, no, he's not. <laughs> so a straight brawl here, I would imagine, you on the other side, kind of keeping with a little bit what they've had. River Vibration switching over to the Reaper here, Drunken Gizmo coming out on that Junkrat. But an early kind of touch here, almost, by the folks from Dignity. They're up in yeah. that room right quick here. Looking for people to come through the front door, but they don't. They actually pull a little bit of a reverse there and go around the outside edge. They'll push straight up into the fight, though. Tasby caught looking the front line will go down almost immediately. Goodbye, Moira. The rest of the team pushes forward there. Pulse Pingu, I think, got caught maybe in a little bit of a trap. Wasn't able to fully finish off the attack on Drunken Gizmo. And now a little bit of discoordination here from Baihu. They're trying to figure out the way they want to push back in. It looks like they've chosen this side here. They'll start to push forward just a little bit. Rubber Vibration getting a couple of shots in. Using the Arissa Shield to great effect here to just put up, push up one after another. They're trying to break through the front door and are not getting a lot of purchase right now, though. Rubber Vibration going around the outside edge is driven out almost immediately by Pulse Pingo and Mortal Meister. Somebody's going to have to be the one to step through the breach here, though. Neither of these teams really wanting to step up. Nebula no. taking a little bit of a half step forward, falling back again, and the Coalescence coming out now might just seal the end. No, beat down Bongo's going in. They want to fight this out. Baihu not giving up as Mortal Meister will go down, and that Good might Bongo. open it up. Ventral Island going down as well, but Mortal Meister trying to tear it back after he gets revived. The fight's still going here. Coalescence coming out on the other side. Looks like they might be in the cleanup phase here, so Skate. I think they might just have taken this one. 
Yeah, Mortal Meister did not want to go down without a fight, but as we see that, we see members of Dignity trickling back in. This fight is not oh, over no. yet. The Blizzard Fighter comes out. Getting the Blizzard off, and that might actually turn it around. Ventral Austin and Punk Kingu both getting in on the action. It's just the Reaper and the Moira fighting it out with three and four. Oh, Shatter there to just take Rubber Vibration out, and somehow, despite things looking like they've completely gone against Dignity, they hold on there with a couple of good plays from their DPS. Yeah, Mortal Meister just stayed alive, it seemed like, for an eternity by himself in front of the face of Cosmic Owl. Somehow kept that point alive, allowed Spider to get back with the Blizzard that swung that completely back the other direction. Wow. Yeah, now with 85 on the percentage and counting up, the pressure really on here for Baihu. They have to make the play. They have some ultimates as well. That's coming out early. They're throwing out the Gravitic oh. Flux as well. Gravitic Flux is pretty solid. Handy Hipster will go down. Rubber Vibration trading out there, but the Mercy may be the bigger pick, but Mortal Meister going to town. Gets Nebula and Drunken Gizmo with the alt. Mortal Meister continuing his rampage. He is reaping, for lack of a better word, all up in the Arisa's face there. Cosmic Owl can do nothing about it. By who cleaned out of the point once more, and Dignity taking map one here in the series. Wow, that was a solid start for Dignity. Got down 1-0 to Baihu, but made the swaps that were necessary on the backs of those DPS, making big play after big play. No surprise here from Spider. I Spider, imagine this Spider, is the Spider. second map. <laughs> oh, yeah. Tenacious. Visor. Oh, you hate to see it on the coalescing Boira as well, and then just into the back of their tank line. Oh, nasty stuff. Oh, Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. It's all ogre now, uh, as they as they say. Uh, wow, Pulse Pingu coming in with 73% kill participation. So an early victory there for Dignity, putting them up 1-0 in the series. But that being said, Baihu Skate, not entirely toothless, right? They did take the first map. Uh, they, yeah. they picked apart the defense, and then they kind of just... Uh, <laughs> I don't know, stopped picking it apart, for lack of a better better understanding. Yeah, I think they were a little bit behind on the swaps there, and then, uh, oh, I think I got kicked from the game there, strangely enough, so uh, we'll have to get that fixed. Uh, Sultan, you may be the, the leader of that game. Um, yeah. Really? Unfortunate. Oh, there it goes. Here. Okay, it was a different screen that popped up. <laughs> Threw me off. I wanted to make sure we had that right. Oh, no. It's that tier five game. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, no. That's not alternate yet, dimension. Yet. Cut the feed. Where it's, it's skate. Uh, it's skate. Uh, what would be alternate dimension? Roller, roller, I don't know. Roller sit. <laughs> roller sit. <laughs> roller stationary. <laughs> I'm trying to think. Yeah, I'm trying to think of what the opposite, like what the antonym of action would be in that scenario. I can't quite figure it out. Oh. Uh, but, <laughs> so Oasis out of the way, Baihu got a little bit of a bite to them, so they're not completely out of this. Dignity uh, looking pretty solid on those last two maps, though. Pretty much uncontested takes uh, on, the, on the last two stages. And now we're going into Nimbani, so switching the situation up just a little bit. We're moving over to that hybrid map format. Uh, Nimbani, of course, famous for the fact that once it was taken out of the map pool and nobody noticed for a while. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> nobody missed it. <laughs> nobody missed it. Also for the fact that they still haven't cleaned up the airport, uh, which is a little ridiculous. Uh, one well, of these days, you know, one of these days. People are busy. There's other things going on they must tend to. So. Well, yeah, there's janitorial robots. Like, what are they doing? Uh, I mean, they're destruct. Know. They're destroyed. Have you seen it? No, those are the janitor escape. Yeah. <laughs> I'll get Michael Chu in here, get him to explain it to us. Uh, but yeah, looking forward to Nimbani. I mean, my thought process here is here, Skating. Correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, Baihu kind of uh, seems to have really strategies that they want to follow. Like you saw them pushing that low ground attack there on Oasis and then trying to set up the torture in the corner. They, they seem to have, I don't want to say canned ideas, but at least set patterns that they want to follow. Meanwhile, mm -hmm. Dignity doing a really good job of just kind of maintaining those high ground defensive perimeters. And I I'm interested to see like how their styles clash going into this map. Yeah, and it seemed like I think with the before I got distracted, I think the difference in that first map that we saw were the swaps that Dignity wanted to make. It seemed like they were just ahead on the swaps curve uh, as Baihu was was trying to play catch up that whole time and trying to make the adjustments back. They didn't really 
do a great job of foreseeing what was going to be taking place there. It seemed like they had the swaps ready for the soldier going into that that third map, but then there was no soldier to be had. So, and they also had the uh, the Sigma, which would have been very helpful against that high ground soldier, but just not a lot of value there. So we'll see because they're making a swap here. We're going to get Chiss in the game to see if we can't get a little bit of a shakeup in this lineup. And maybe that's what they needed to, uh, to kind of kickstart them, that little spark plug. You never know. I mean, that's the the beauty of substitutions in any sport, right? They can they can give you a little bit of life, maybe a little bit of new ways of thinking about things that you might not have previously noticed. Uh, but at the sake of trying to avoid sounding like one of the canned commentators for FIFA, uh, you know, <laughs> it, it could be an interesting. It could be an interesting change up here. But I, uh, you know, Dignity's ability to hold those defenses to me just seems like this is going to be a grim situation. And I can't imagine that neither Spider or Mortal Meister are going to avoid the temptation to play. Um, to play the soldier here again, considering how effective it was. I mean, they opened up huge sidelines for those TAC visors on uh, on both times that they really had them going from the very beginning, actually, on city center. The TAC visors were mm -hmm. hugely impactful, which, funny enough, not something that you see very often in this day and age, considering that soldier no. has kind of fallen out of favor for a lot of people. Uh, maybe, I don't know, maybe you're just bringing it back, at least here in T3 Xbox Overwatch, so... You know, soldiers we like not to consider dead. ourselves tra <laughs> trendsetters. We like to consider. Well, it will be next week when Echo comes out. But anyway, uh, yeah, he's done. He's Sorry, there. when it's when it's back to dive, back to supports, having to cower in corners. Uh, I'm already fearing cowering, for their, just in fearing for their lives. Yeah. <laughs> You know who's not getting played? Zenyatta. <laughs> hey, <I'm> sorry. <laughs> oh, no, he wasn't a part of the original dive. Come on, he, he was not the original but, uh, dive. He was a part of the more impressive iteration of dive let us but, say but with the echo iteration i don't see it <laughs> <laughs> you know what really you know this has nothing to do with nobami but i was saying it the other night in scrim when we were or when we were playing against echo at some point in time you know what really surprised me was her sticky minds are like visual disorientation on your screen I oh, did not they realize you? it. Yeah. It's like a it's like a flashbang on top of the like fact that yeah. all these energy orbs are about to blow up on my body. I also and can't there's nothing see you what's can do going about it. on. Now I, I haven't seen the interaction that. yet. If Moira fades, if they drop like oh a, they must like a drop. sticky, they, they must. must right. It has to be probably the same interaction as a tracer pulse bomb, right? I would, I would imagine so, but uh, we'll see. Uh, so dignity taking the defense here to start us off. Spider uh, resisting the urge to play soldier, mostly giving into the urge to prove me wrong, actually coming out there on the Ash, Mortal Meister on the Hanzo, and then Ventral Island, of course, taking up the Reinhardt. So similar kind of setup in terms of mm -hmm. supports and tanks. On the other side, it's a, a full cowboy cowgirl show there uh, with Reinhardt coming in. Yeah, so, you know, Chiss coming out on the Ana off the bench. So not too much variation in these two compositions for what it's worth as they begin to push forward. Yeah, not really, but uh, I think this plays into the the style of Dignity a little bit better. They seem to be very strong on that defense. They, they're they also very good at playing into the sight lines of that range DPS, so I expect Spider to have a big game here if, uh, if Nebula can't do something about it. Well, Spider and mortal meister just up there on the high ground raining in damage over the top a little bit of an awkward push around here from Baihu. i think they're trying to decide if they want to go left or right there and they'll decide to go up and push that high ground maybe a wise decision actually trying to just unseat those dps a little bit but that rotation just quick there oh. cosmic owl goes down right in the front line caught an arrow i think to the face or maybe it was a bullet maybe a little bit of both actually all things considered dynamite thrown clips off the edge of the doorway you hate to see it can't quite get stuck in there uh as they'll try pushing forward just a little bit here again and they do take the high ground now on the back side time is ticking down good dynamite and over the top will cost spider their life uh they're still trying here drunken gizmo deciding to pop off just a little bit oh but look who that is it's pulse pingu back in meanwhile Reinhardt diving My in word. off the top rope he's been watching his quarantine wwe there as he goes in on the push it is a spider now getting the kills back on the deck and they'll throw out the bob here as well and once more dignity uh who their way out of a dangerous situation there skate yeah and that was that was very slow developing i think once the rhine dropped on the side of baihu you just needed to commit in there and and die quick if nothing else to get yourself a nice little reset now we're almost halfway through this time bank already 
and we've had exactly one push by Baihu. So I would like to see a little bit more, uh, you know, urgency on the side of Baihu trying to get to this point. We'll see if they take a little bit of a different route. The D.Va did get d very early on in that yeah. fight, so we'll see if they can keep the D.Va up and how that changes things. Well, Baihu coming through to the left again. And once more, it does feel a little bit like a can strategy here. The Hitting the D.Va. D.Va also has the oh, Sonic man. Arrow. We'll get back into the healing, and now they'll come up through the corridor. Already, Mortalmeister and Spider are rotating around. Maybe Cosmic Cow can live a little oh. bit longer. Ooh, Dragon's coming in. Splits the team, but I don't know if it's enough oh, to make a significant difference. Now, Bob coming in. Oh, Rubber Vibration gets two. Great high noon there. Spider getting their opposite number, but isn't enough. Tazby will finish off Ventral Island. It looks like the rest of Baihu coming in strong. Meanwhile, up on the high ground, it's Meet Shiss engaging in a bit of a one-on-one -on -one there with the Ash. Will finally get brought down. Rubber Vibration getting the final kill on Mortal Meister, and they will secure the point skate yeah on the back attack. of yeah it was a good attack okay. and it and it looked like in that separation i never saw even where the dead i was from i was looking for it i could not find rubber vibration and apparently neither could the side of dignity as he was able to get two and really open up that push as we saw nebula get separated a little bit early on and get back to the team and i think that was the difference able to keep that diva against that range dps that defense matrix is massive well, they're giving them a lot of free ground here coming around the first corner. Not a lot of option really given their spawn situation. Uh, a little bit of a shot being put in there by Ventral Island, who's, who's playing quite aggressively, maybe trying to get a shot out. Oh, there it is, Shatter Bomb over the top. Goodbye, Nebula, but Nebula can't steal on the reverse. Oh, they're trading kills back and forth, oh. Fast and Furious. And finally, Dignity starts to pull away at the end, but for a second there, everything hanging on a bit of a razor's edge uh, as they begin to roar forward. Just the ass, Drunken Gizmo left, trying to back up and get into cover there. Uh, interesting little bit of a, a set piece play in the, in the response skate. Yeah, a little bit of a back and forth there. And, uh, oh, my audio just cut out. Sorry about that. A As we see. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> Coming in around the outside edge now. Cosmic Al trying to push forward, getting a little bit of pressure. Challenging Pulse Pingu up there on the high ground, trying to get after the McCree. Rubber Vibration will go down. Now Nebula having the tur tables turned up there. Handy Hipster oh, going man. down. Again, these two teams really just trading kills back and forth here until finally Dignity usually manages to come over the top. You see Bob dropping in there, covering the long street, kind of cutting off reinforcements from coming for Gizmo or Nebula. And once more, Baihu back to spawn and resetting. Yeah, as we see, basically mirrored comps from these two teams. The only difference is Tasby on that Moira versus Salty Irishman's Mercy. And I think the side of Dignity right now is getting a lot of value out of that damage boost of Salty Irishman. Yeah. And I think that's kind of the difference and why we're seeing the big... Oh, oh surprise shatter! And he was waiting in the storefront. They came in and he dropped him, but really not as effective as they needed it to be. The nano boost coming in and now maybe Ventral get the kills that they're looking for. Yeah, and they lost Al Schiff loses a shatter on. there. Oh, that's tragic, losing the shatter like that as well. Ventral Island set that up so well, the cheeky Reinhardt uh, play. You love to see it. I mean, you also hate to see it, I guess. <laughs> that's the old Great little goes. counter charge there by Cosmic Al, and now the nano boost coming out the other direction. Here comes Baihu storming forward. Ventral Island can't stand the pressure. Goes down. Spider going down as well. Salty Irishman getting taken out of it. Baihu barn storming in. Pulse Pingu going down. The whole team getting wrecked. Just the Ana left alive, and Handy Hipster will go down at the end. So they bought themselves a little bit more breathing room for the car, but will it be enough, Skate? Uh, you know, we're going to see. I, I love the way they just kind of blunt force object at that push. We're just going to nano Ryan and send Bob in and no. just start swinging and brawl. And it really paid off. Ventral Island so close. Oh, couldn't quite get there. Oh, just missed it by that much. So close. I thought he was going to get there as I was talking, but uh, apparently not as we see Dignity going to have to set up here on the corner as the payload will make it all the way up the hill. Good dynamite over the back edge. They'll follow up with the bomb there, putting Ventral Island Good a bit bomb. of a spot. Great bomb. Nebula getting two there, and Tazby getting in with a little bit of ZF action oh, no of their own. Oh, they're just charging forward here. Spider gets flushed out and burned on the top deck. 
And this is a complete reversal of yeah. fortune. I don't know what happened. Dignity struggling for an answer. Tosses the bomb over the top. Tries to get the shatter off. Doesn't work. Now comes the coalescence. A great anti oh. Shatter on the backside. Ventral Island in serious danger as Bob gets thrown out. It's the only thing that keeps him alive. Gives him time to get the nano boost out. They're not giving this one up without a fight, though. River Vibration still chunking in the damage. Nebula still standing their ground, trying to win this out, trying to keep the fight going. Can't tell if they're going to really be dying here. Any ults, <laughs> but they're still going. Spider goes down, but now Mortal Meister starts to turn the tide on the Genji. They're going to throw in the Bob as well. They are not giving this up without a fight. Handy Hipster getting tickled there by his Tasby won't quite go down. Bob really not contributing over much here as finally Mortal Meister begins to turn the tide and Baihu might get one more push here, Skate, if they're lucky. Yeah, that was a bit of, uh, I think as you like to say, an alt fiesta there. Everybody was playing that like it was last fight. I don't think they realized we were going to have another team fight coming up here as the ultimate banks are almost dead. Oh, play over the top. It's damage boosted. Drunken Gizmo goes down early on. I don't think they're going to get much. Cosmic Owl charges it a second. It's enough. Rubber Vibration getting the pick in. Rubber Vibration getting another one. Pulse Pingu trying to get oh, back. Rubber, rubber Vibration and Pulse Pingu trading kills back and forth. It's just the Diva holding on. One lone Diva defending the car. Coalescence out. Baby Diva now dropping into the fight. And they've done it. They've broken through by who in overtime getting the win there on the back of some amazing McCree play from Rubber Vibration with Tasby in the pocket. And that's the first time I think I've seen Rubber Vibration flank this entire two maps. <laughs> He decided to come around on this, you know, around that far side where over you come up by where the defense is spawning and hit the dead eye as he was coming around and nobody was there to answer because all the attention was on the front line. So he was able to get, I think, just one with the dead eye, but then got another kill right away on the Mercy and a flashbang kill on the Genji, just one right after another, putting the team on his back. That's an amazing attack there from Baihu, if we're being honest, though, to be fair, I couldn't quite tell if it was Baihu just being spectacularly or Dignity kind of getting a little kerfuffled. But wow, when they were stuck in the streets phase there, I don't think we saw them getting all the way to the end. I really did. <laughs> I'm being honest. After it stalled on the second point, I, it just had that feeling like they were kind of dead in the water. But great job by Baihu to rally. There's a lot of fight in this team. This. This feels like a very, very good 0-3 team. I'm surprised that this team, and it could just be a way the schedule and the hero bands have fallen, but this is a feisty team. Yeah, they definitely are fighters. I mean, I think sometimes to their detriment, if we're being honest, there are definitely times where they've held on a significant amount of times uh, to, to, you know, fighting it out. But here we are on the defense. They're going back to the Torbjorns here, Skate, so they don't quite want to give up on the turret yet. And this is a good Torbjorn point. Yeah, it really is. We'll we'll have to see how that plays into it. Uh, just kind of getting a 7v6, as it were, there. Trunkin Gizmo kind of just happy to hold up there with said turret. The rest of the team joining in with him. A little bit of a quasi-dive. There it is. Uh, though maybe Brigida, not exactly <laughs> what I would throw in that situation. <laughs> but, you know, that's uh, another part of the column there. I think maybe actually there to just enable Spider. The jump coming in from Ventral Island and Winston is stuffed on the top deck. Salty Irishman going down as well. Mortal Meister still up there. They will lose Drunken Gizmo, so the fight can oh. go either way. Spider doing a good job of clawing Big this back. Don't think it's quite enough though, as Nebula more than happy to kind of swing for the fences there, though they did lose two. They will ultimately emerge victorious. I was kind of confused by the selection of the Brig by Handy Hipster, but I think the the idea was that the rest of the team kind of goes up and flanks that high ground, and Handy Hipster just gets on point with Brig, almost like you see in the bunker comp where the Diva would be the one to contest. I think that was the strategy going in, was Brig was just there simply to contest because she's yeah. got that self, you know, self-contained. A little bit of a half jump up there, not quite making the target, totally calculated. Great anti date over the top and that's a dangerous place to be. Nebula dropping into the pit there is brought down. Spider with tons of room to operate, getting multiple Ooh. hits here. Cleaning up the lineup. Handy Hipster even getting in on the action just a little bit as well. It's me, Chiss, on the Baptiste on the high ground, dropping in now trying to keep his DPS alive. We'll see the Mad Monkey coming out as Ventral Island toss in some of the members of the team around just a little bit to the left and to the right. They'll throw out oh, there. Oh, Shatter coming over the top. Oh, oh, I don't think you know bad. he had mercy on the payload. 
Oh, I don't think he knew that she was there either. The anti nade coming in big, but Nebula standing strong here in the corner, just trying to b delay this as long as possible. Tormiorn gets slept there for half a second. Drunken Gizmo. Tasby, though, firing away against Salty Iris. Oh, no, oh, no. Oh, no. Escape. The cheeky ref. Oh. Uh, that would have been oh, amazing I love if Mercy you plays, got that. That would have been the biggest of Mercy plays right there. My word. Could you imagine? That would have really been something. Uh, Unfortunately, yeah, lost to, their minds. Not to be, not to be, uh, as it were. And a switch now. Nebula coming out on the... So, uh, a little, uh, little bit of a change up. Sorry, he's not a monkey. He's a scientist. Yes, get it right. And he likes That's peanut butter. Bad. I don't know if you're aware he of that. He loves peanut butter. <laughs> <laughs> he's great. Good old Winston. Uh, we see that. Yeah, we see the Winston on the side of Bayou. We have not seen this yet, so... Interesting to see if they're just trying to counter what Dignity's trying to do on the oh, attack. No, Winston, run! Oh, Nebula getting crushed on the high ground with anti- Well, I hear the Genji Blade. I feel the Genji Blade on the back line. The, the bomb as well over the top. That takes out the turret. Fight not completely out of Baihu there, but it's not looking good. The Molten Core doing a little bit of work there, helping them stay in this, I think, for far longer than they deserve to be. It's just Tasby left alive now on the Mercy and the Stagger. Pretty brutal there. Though a bit maybe of a silly thing to commit the anti nade to that skate. I guess they'll get it back in time. Yeah, the way Handy Hipster is slinging those anti nades right now, like is quietly the MVP of this push. Those anti-nades are actually what's setting up these 5v6s right off the bat is, I don't think he's missed a single one yet. Indeed, well, they're through this first point with a relative breeze for minutes on the clock. No big streets phase hold here as Mortal Meister. Spider keeping with the McCree for the moment, trying to challenge on high ground. We'll get high ground control. Be all. That's there a comes the dive eight. in the back line. Oh, Spider tries something with the high noon. Won't get it off. Gets brought down almost immediately, but will res. Cosmic Owl was cut off there, though, as the angry monkey ult also coming over the top. Oh. Doing a little bit of work, but now Mortal Meister on that Soldier 76 oh, game. No. Just making his presence felt. These hit scans are, are having a game, that's for sure. They are making their presence known on both of these maps so far as Dignity is just pushing relentlessly. Oh, Mortal Meister is down. High Noon coming out from the other side. Gets blocked off. It'll cost Pulse Pingu the mech. Pulse Pingu throwing out the Diva Bomb there. Oh! Somehow gets chased around the and Spider comes in on Rubber Vibration. Now Ventral Island going in. Spider with the High Noon gets two. Nebula can't get back to the payload. And with three minutes on the clock, Dignity shows him how it's done on attack. Yeah, that was that was just a prime example of Snowball is Baihu was just never able to quite get their ground and, and dig in there on the defense. Initiating match. Yeah, they weren't. They, they just kind of struggled. They, they were you felt after that initial success on the point, uh, mm -hmm. they were just always kind of reeling on their heels, never really could get dug in again. I think yeah, they didn't seem comfortable again. either. It, it seemed like they were kind of skittish and ready to back up right away. Well, the one probably that that's upsetting them the most is Chiss dying there, hiding behind that column. Oh yeah, bomb. Apparently, think, you can't hide behind that column. I didn't know that. Well, uh, yeah, the thing is, uh, and I, I don't think a lot of people would know this. I only know this because I've been in a similar situation, and I figure out why I died. That column tapers at the bottom. Attack. It goes down, oh. and I think the taper is just enough that it shows enough of your body or whatever to somehow yeah. register the diva bomb. There's some weird stuff going on there, but the, the column is not uh, equally thick all the way down, which is, is yeah, a little and, uncomfortable. And your hitbox has to be entirely enclosed from that bomb. I, I think it only just takes a sliver of that hitbox to get the kill. Just, just like real life. <laughs> Yes, just like yeah, real. <laughs> okay, what am I doing? I can't hold. I can't hold Overwatch to realistic stations. Yeah, we just saw. We just saw the angry gorilla uh, smash his way through the front line. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, yeah, can't be put. That's yeah, realistic. On the line there, all things considered. Uh, the cybernetic so ninja. <laughs> the cybernetic ninja. Dare I? Dare I mention it? Uh, here comes the push early on. There's the jump over the oh, top. Yes. Not playing around with the brig this time. No, I think that was intentional. He's gotten Nebula oh, okay. off the high ground, and Nebula gets looked down there by the Tesla cannon. Absolutely tickled to death. Shiz trying to hold out on the high ground, fearing for his life up there on the Baptiste, trying to keep the team alive. Will drop down into the pit there for half a second. 
Cosmic Owl on the Orisa, trying to hold out. Paul's Pingu will go up and chase Chiss out of his cubby hole. The anti nade coming in on the Moira signal, and there. Oh my gosh! Throw the blade in as well. Why not, Mortal Meister? Just trying to secure a couple of picks there and make sure that point is a full take. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Forced into overtime, but Dignity does take it. Yep. Savage, savage stuff. And we'll get a look at Nebula, who picked up the play of the game there on the Rhine. Ooh. Starting out a little bit rough, but a uh, good charge. <laughs> it's hard to argue with that. And he'll pick up a couple more there as well. So good place from the Rhine. Unfortunately, not quite enough. Uh, and we'll be taking ourselves into, inter into intermissions shortly. Uh, any final thoughts before we, we jump in there, Skate? No, I think uh, I think it's a good time for a break and by who gets to regroup here. That's exactly what they need. Indeed. We'll be right back, ladies and gentlemen, with more thrilling, thrilling Friday night over action here at the Console Gaming League. Hello, ladies. Hello, and ladies and gentlemen, and welcome for watching Quarterback by with Salt on Production. First double header tonight. Dignity versus Baihu. One. Dignity up 2 1 over who opponent. Baihu not completely without bite uh, on map gate. Yeah, uh, it sounds like you're, uh, you're, you're chopping a little. Tried to fix some stuff at halftime and uh no God. dice apparently apparently it got worse so uh, okay <laughs> but yeah uh, no, i feel like that's clear. something for another day anyway <laughs> yeah there you go hey look you're coming in crystal clear now we got you oh. sound like you're driving through a tunnel are you in a tunnel no not not at the moment <laughs> about 30 seconds ago yes it's amazing to see <laughs> you were, it, which... it's great it's what, amazing what the time speed at which one's room moves. Uh, <laughs> <you know? laughs> yeah. Both teams are already oh, ready, so boy. we're just going to dive into it. Like We, we might as okay, well, right? Then. Yeah. Oh, mid-match analysis here. Uh, mid-match analysis is that, uh, you know, by who they've been putting up a fight, Dignity, uh, been fighting a little bit harder, kind of been executing a little bit better, I would say, Skate, uh, yeah. in general. Yeah, uh, I would agree with that. That yeah, it's felt a little part. rough at times, I think, for uh, by who they clearly have strats that they're trying to run. Um, it just almost seems like they're just kind of getting bamboozled at times. I wouldn't necessarily say that they were getting kind of outplayed because they have been making some great plays. You know, we saw Rubber Vibration pop off on the end of New Bombing, basically score mm -hmm. them uh, the end of that map. We've seen some good stuff coming out of them. It just feels like their canned strategies that they're trying to run are usually getting counteracted by whatever dignity is walking out yeah and it seems like the the dps i think are the difference on the side of dignity they've just they've just played their butts off so far and it seems like they've had an answer for everything that by who has thrown at them so far so i I'm curious to see if Baihu has any tricks up their sleeve here for this hold, to see if they can't maybe get a full hold here on first point Paul Sky as we've swapped sides. Well, uh, even a broken clock is right twice a day skate, so we'll see uh, what they've got here. <laughs> you never know. You just don't. Uh, Nebula playing kind of up by the car there will decide that he's going to back back around, and this is just pure get on in there from the folks over at Dignity. They want to close this one out uh, and get the three three maps right there as they come in. Uh, a little bit of pressure already being applied. Spider getting an early pick on Tasby from that Widowmaker, and that's the kind of thing you get a little bit scared of, though Rubber Vibration puts it back. Mortal Meister taking it down as well. Good anti-nate on Cosmic Owl, and those anti-nates have been absolutely telling here. Nebula charges in, gets counter-charged, though. Now Nebula is caught out looking on the point, and already the Baihu defense starting to collapse here as Chiss, kind of the last one standing, is burned down on the high ground. Uh, rip, as the kids say. Uh, yeah, those anti-nades have just been massive the whole time. It's crazy. They really have. Uh, Handy Hipster has been hitting them very well. Uh, and, and really, they have been making a difference. 
Um, you know, Chiss got a decent one in there at the end, but unfortunately, I think, just think too many of the team were down to really capitalize in it. And they're coming in hard now. Spider on the far outside edge, taking one of the floating platforms in. Gonna get a cheeky pick here, I think, on the outside edge, unless they spot him out. Soldier Bit getting her on the outside here by the edge as well. Mortal Meister gets slept, though, on the high ground. They'll come up there and to save the him, though. Oh, no, Drunken Gizmo got the tables turned just a little bit there. Drunken Gizmo nearly going down. Drunken Gizmo still taking this fight as Spider gets taken out by Rubber Vibration. So they are trying to hold the high ground. Drunken Gizmo destroying up there, finally getting Mortal Meister out of the action. But a nano boosted Reinhardt comes charging up the middle. There goes oh, no Rubber. There goes Nebula. Drunken Gizmo still holding out those. Got Pulse Pingu frozen for half a second there. A charge by Vendril is a little half hearted. Great wall there to separate off the two teams. Drunken Gizmo pushing forward, trying to get in on the action. Zen Ebula gets the charge. Now the Nano Boosted Reinhardt from the other team is pushing forward. Swinging clear. Swinging oh! frozen the shatter at the end just because oh, no. he can. And now Nebula goes down. They're going back and forth. Uh, and they'll use the oh, attack no. visor. Why not? Here what? comes. Yeah, you got it. Use it. Charging in on the back line, but Mortal Meister is brought down on the high ground. He's res back in. Now they're throwing a bomb over the top. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Death left, right, and center. Absolute chaos breaking out. More akin to a scene from Mad Max than a fight on the point in Overwatch. And they're still going here. Ventral Island getting tickled a little bit by Nebula, who's come back out on the Winston. Out comes the beatdown bongos early on, but they're gonna push right up into Another it with nano. the nano boost. Now Rubber Vibration falling out to Tack Visor, manages to get one before he's brought down. And finally, at the end of all that absolute madness, nope, not quite over yet, Skate. They're still going. <laughs> no, nope. not even a tick yet on this point. Not even a tick. Tazby getting in there to contest there the last is. second. There's the tick. Over the top comes Nebula, oh, wait, shocking wait. away with the cannon. Good anti nade over the top. Not enough to capitalize on it, though. The tickle gun in full effect on the back line. The two supports being drawn off on the back edge there, trying to get back to the rest of the team. Good anti on Ventral Island. We'll get the Reinhardt out of the fight. But the mess still continuing here. There's a Nano May running around the point. Extra Frosty May. Uh, and that, I think, might finally signal the end of that absolutely ludicrous attack. Hey, we can reset now. Wow, what a, what a, what a push that was. I'm just at a loss for words. It was, you know what it felt like? It felt like we were in quick play there for a minute, the way people were charging in. I know. All the way to the wall, but uh, great job by Baihu there to figure out how to dig in and, and finally finish that fight off. As we see, kind of a unique comp. It's almost like a dive defense on the tanks but uh, a brawly dps and uh and support combo here it's very unique well here comes the push again good split there meister breaking out the tack visor early on from the flank trying to put it's it in anti. a little bit of different oh high noon coming in as well and that'll take nebula out of the action rubber vibration trying to get in shatter comes out vibration is taken down there's a bomb point blank on the point doesn't get ventral island now Pulse Pingu is anti-nated, but I don't think it's going to be quite enough. Cosmic Owl there on the Baby Diva, kind of the last one left standing. They'll get Nebula back in on the ball this time, and Nebula goes hey, to the spin the and gets out Spider. Uh, Ham and the Hamster trying to fight this one out as Rubber Vibration drops back in. He's on the Reaper now, trying to put a little too damage into these tanks. There will be a Diva Bomb there. That'll clear the point oh. for half a second as Rubber Vibration is gone down. Oh, Nano Boost into Tazby. That's a good charge there to end the coalescence. And they're still fighting, Skate. Yes, they're still going at it as, oh, Cosmic Owl. Mortal Meister oh. took the 1v1, and that was not the right call. We see another big oh, no. come in. Pulse oh, my Pingu chest. ate the blizzard there from Drunken Gizmo that might have really sealed the deal. They'll throw in the shatter on Rubber Vibration, and Rubber Vibration goes down, and finally it is over. But what madness was that? I, I don't know what we just watched there. That was that was wild. I've not seen Overwatch like that in a long time. Mad work, but is what we saw. I look think. at that defense though on the side of Baihu. One thirty-seven left on the clock. They did a very good job of milking that clock out after what was a pretty quick push by Dignity. Yeah, that's that's that was some crazy stuff there. Also, big thank you to VTS Virus for your Twitch Prime subscription. We appreciate the sport most greatly. Uh, always good to see people, you know, giving, giving back to the console, good console Overwatch, console gaming in general. We're happy to be here and present it for you. So, 
nine consecutive months, I'm being told. So great job there. Spectacular. Thank you so much. Glad to have you back again for the ninth month. <laughs> Nonstop. Nonstop. Uh, non-stop and we'll see the defense setting up here it looks like it's going to be the hit scans again spider on the soldier mortal meister on the ash meanwhile on the other side drunken gizmo coming back on that may with rubber vibration on the mccree and the variation in the healers there that we've kind of come to expect salty irishman coming out on her mercy play uh and then tasby will be picking up the moira yeah we see that and i think the the answer of the you know what you were going to use to replace that lucio this week has been answered anna has just been a staple this yep. entire match uh i'm a little bit surprised by that but uh it seems to be working we're seeing anti-nades those anti-nades have been the difference maker y you land more and you're winning these fights it really is, and I mean, it's such a powerful ability in so many ways, but now SF Nebula, ZF Nebula coming around the outside, throwing in the fire strike there. There's a brief sleep, but not really enough. They're already setting up Cosmic Owl to try and divest him of the high ground, but Ismi Chiss gets caught in the doorway and brought down, so they're already down to just one healer there. Nebula going in for the charge, can't quite make it strict. They've taken Spider out of the equation. Now, this is turning into a bit of a mess here on point. Nebula will go down, and really, now you just see charging across the point like some sort of snowmobile is ventral island swinging away with that hammer basically running over anybody who's in front of him Did say snowmobile met snow yeah. <laughs> it's, okay. it's okay it's probably also hurts if you get hit by a snowmobile to be fair uh <laughs> I i'm sure it does not feel nice if you do uh, <laughs> i doubt it <laughs> i don't want to find out if that's the guy right, well so much for that bit of content <laughs> segment uh, <laughs> but what we saw there on the attack uh, i think the attackers needed to just get underneath that point where that health pack was because mortal maestro was just teeing off from on top of that little room and you got to take those sight lines away if you're on the side of bayou you really do now bob getting thrown in on the backside here and that's a bit nasty there just trying to get into some sort of cover here as the rest of dignity pushes around they'll throw the coalescence out but rubber vibration getting brought down early the blizzard comes out on the point but he's got no one in it that's a little unfortunate there as that diva bomb comes charging in on the slow burn oh good little shatter there to catch tasby out looking just still Whoa. alive somehow here as nebula comes charging back across the point and gets spider uh, that's a kill and a half. Another diva bomb coming in over the top. No real luck there. They'll throw in the nano boost here as well, which may be a little bit of uh, overkill there on just Chiss. But uh, yeah, clear I, I would say that was a little bit overkill. But uh, you know, it is what it is. Make the decision and live with. Uh, it seems to not be hurting them so far. But uh, alt economy, the, Chiss does have that nano boost. If they are doing a good job of alt tracking here, they may be on top of that and just decide to go in with the nano and just have Ryan swing away here. Well, Nebula coming forward now. They can't afford to lose anyone early on in the fights. They've they've had that problem a couple of times here as they come up to the high ground. The dynamite coming out not quite effective enough. I mean, it was decently positioned, but didn't quite get everyone. Yeah, taking the scenic all route here. But yeah, these long flanks that we've really seen Baihu whipping out all night. Good May wall up. Is it enough for them to bully these tanks? Oh no, counter pin the nano ride. Oh, but Rubber oh, Vibration big. coming in big for the team, getting two. Is it enough though? No, it's not Spider popping the old Bob getting in on the action as well. The hammer down coming out. They're trying to charge Pulse. Oh no, SF Nebula and SF Tasby both getting brought down. So the DPS coming in huge there to save the day for Dignity when everything looked like it was getting thrown south. Yeah, that visor was big on the side of, of Spider to help win that point back. And then he had, you know, combo that with Meister's Bob. And and there was just no answer on the side of Baihu here. It's it's getting down to do or die time. This is their last push. They're going to switch over to a more divey comp. I think they're just going to try and go at that DPS lineup of Dignity. Indeed, they are skating. They're coming forward hard onto the point here. Unfortunately, the Coalescence may be coming out just a little bit too early. There's no real push to follow it up. Nebula looking for something to dive on. Ooh, Spider going down early, though. Rubber, Vido, uh, rubber Vision on this Widow. Just kind of holding out there in the mid-ground. Good anti-nade coming anti in now on the tank, but it's not enough. The kill stacking up on the other side, and it's just going to be Nebula here holding on. Chiss as well. Bomb right in Chiss. Oh, Chiss. Anything about it he's brought down. Tasby still here fighting, though. The 2SZF folks still fighting this out. 
Nebula trying to delay as best as possible will be got brought down and it is a full hold here on this point. That was an impressive defense there uh, on the side of uh, of Dignity. The, the DPS are just shining. The, the positioning of Spider has been very, very interesting. He was playing, I think, on every push in a different spot on the high ground. So he made sure to keep changing it up so that the, the attackers couldn't get comfortable where he was going to set up and plan for him. So a very heads up play there. Big Bob plays there coming out from Mortal Meister <laughs> on that play of the game. Good stuff. Well, so that will secure this match for Dignity. I uh, would get yes. 3 0 pick up here over Baihu. We will, of course, be playing the fourth map for map score as per the rules. Uh, but yes, the deal the deal is sealed, as it were, Skate. Uh, mm -hmm. Good, solid performance from Dignity. Uh, Baihu trying to fight back, but they kind of ran out of steam a little bit there on Volskaya. Yeah, they're, they're getting close. I feel like they're on the verge of just pulling off two or three map wins at some point but uh, unfortunately they've only got one left here but uh route 66 we'll see how this plays in i think it I, unfortunately for them i think it plays into the strengths of the dps of dignity a little bit more uh i, I would expect by who probably to run a little bit more of that dive on the attack since they seem to have a little bit of success in getting the dps uncomfortable on that last push i would have liked to have seen them maybe swap to that a little bit sooner yeah, I think I agree with you there, Skate. I, I think that, you know, if anything has been setting the teams apart from me, it feels like it's been great play from the respective DPS. Uh, you know, Baihu has, or Baihu has been doing a good job trying to get their DPS in on the action. But, you know, Dignity, I think they've just been telling in terms of their ability to kind of get the picks, get the kills, um, make things happen i mean we saw a great situation right there where rubber vibration basically tried to turn the tides with the high noon it looked like they were going to come in and then just dps alt swept them back out the door i mean credit to the mercy as well salty irishman getting in there and getting the res getting ash back in on the action but 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 it already felt yeah. like it was over at that point in time because of the dps ultimates <clears throat> yeah and the positioning has been top notch by these dps i feel like i've been just beating that dead horse the whole time but they really have done a great job and and they work well together. I, I would love to see what the communication is on that side and how well, because those DPS have to be communicating with each other on who's going where and when as they are getting in the back line, they're taking wide flanks. Everything seems to be open and at their disposal right now. Yeah, it really does feel that way. And, and you know, admittedly, the tank line has been doing a great job as well, getting in there, causing all sorts of havoc. I mean, we've seen Ventral making some really impressive plays on the Reinhardt, basically shutting down a lot of the things that Nebula has been trying to do. A great example there at the last map skate when Nebula got the Nano, tried to fight in, and then uh, Ventral just pinned him and took him right out of the fight. I mean, basically took his entire presence away, and it just was open game for the DPS on the high ground once that had come out um so yeah a solid performance mm -hmm. by dignity and, I, and again I, by who it feels like they're a team that's just getting there in terms of their ability they're they're not bad but we're, we're just not seeing the same flashes i guess of brilliance that we would uh hope for uh coming out of that yeah i i, I gotta i gotta agree uh we'll we'll see if by who can't uh, rally the troops here and get that map win and and Get that zero off the scoreboard. See if they can't get out of here with a three one. You know the three one. Yeah. Map score matters. I mean, it comes in in big, and you know, obviously, by who going to be down zero to four coming out of this. Not going to be the best for them, but you know, they, they've still got points to play for. There, there's things to win here. So no, no reason to give up as we come into Route 66, the just full on payload map uh, of our map pool this week. No, and if nothing else, the pressure's off now. The match pressure's off, so you have a little bit of freedom there. You know, take advantage of this. You you can actually even use this to try some things that maybe skittish on trying before. Try some new unique things. Yeah, indeed. You never know, right? It's it's the opportunity perhaps to uh to kind of get an idea of some things that uh you've never thought of before, or test out some defenses or some attacks. Does look like they're gonna be coming out the gate here though with uh, you know strategy some people might be familiar with um, <laughs> yeah I, i'm very feel, familiar with that one <laughs> feel like that bastion only means one thing but i don't know maybe i'm wrong uh yeah uh, we, we will have to see i think what's what's interesting here is we, we talked about the lucio ban a little bit 
last map and how that's brought Anna into the picture a little bit. Uh, I think the bigger thing, other than Lucio being banned, is the fact that Zarya is banned. You don't have that bubble to help with those anti-nades when they're coming in. You don't have that get out of jail free card if your Ryan is the one who takes the ante. Unfortunately, he's just gonna take all that damage that's being swung on him. Yeah, and I do believe that Maza said something to that effect when we were in the pregame, right? It, it is a kind of ban that you take that out of rotation and suddenly it becomes a little bit harder to run Ryan in a lot of situations. But here though, with this setup on the payload, relatively straightforward, though the Widowmaker duel, definitely I think something to look out on. Oh. Oh, oh, hello. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty close. The Ash and oh. the other Widowmaker both there trying to close down. Oh, but Spider getting taken out by not the Widowmaker, but the Bastion on the cart. As the uh, gunship continues to move forward here, Pulse Pingu up on the high ground trying to cause a little bit of havoc, but will just lose the mech. Good dynamite over the top there as the Baby Diva just trying to harass. You see Nebula actually pull the shield off the Bastion, which I'm sure resulted in some exciting comms for a second there as Mortal yeah. Meister just pulled out of cover and sprayed with the machine gun. Multi -mi Mortal Meister also anti-nated as the cart just continues to churn forward here, Skate. Yeah, they are doing a great job of protecting the de facto president in uh, rubber vibration here. This seems to be playing Whoa, into what they're doing better. Get As up I close speak. and personal, the res Get coming in though, sliced off, sliced off, gets in there, gets the Bastion back up, and out comes the tank mode. The big artillery cannon going to work. Salty Irishman and Mortal Meister both falling victim to it, and it does look like Baihu might have been able to roll this one back round. And sure enough, Pulse Pingu goes down, and they're through the first checkpoint, so they were able to su survive the rush there, Skate. Yeah, and it seems like Drunken Gizmo here is giving Dignity a little, you know, taste of their own medicine, able to get out on some flanks and open up some angles for that fashion. It, it's a little bit of a different strategy that we're seeing from this uh, this Baihu team. I like it so far. Nebula taxiing back there for a second so he can get the Mercy back into the action. They'll start pushing forward here and the machine gun is burning away. Uh, as they come around the corner, decent little fire strike there. Ventral Island securing the shatter as they'll come under the corner here. You have to think, Skate, they're going to take this attack at one of these points in time. Bob over yeah, the top, you would open it up, oh. Ventral Island throws in the shatter, and there comes the rest of the team. So they waited, they chose their moment, and they struck like some sort of majestic Overwatch Falcon. Uh, and just <laughs> the cleared the point. Watch Falcon. Uh, yeah, what it was, it looked like on the side of uh, Dignity here, Mortal Meister threw the Bob on purpose past the point that actually opened up the shatter and, and allowed access to Rubber Vibration on that Bastion. Now we see Rubber Vibration and Drunken Gizmo both quickly, quickly swapping over to a couple hit scans here. Clever little Bob placement indeed. Now Nebula pushing the high ground with the backup there from Rubber Vibration. They've given up on the idea of this Bastion now. They don't think they're gonna be able to get it set up again, but Nebula will be more than happy to push the point around this corner. A little bit of a fight here. Nebula taking a fire strike to the face, but still the cart continuing to move. Ventral Island now, the one coming out to play. The nano boost comes in. Hammer comes oh. down. No luck there. Completely blocked. Nebula oh. roasted. They'll throw the bomb in as well. Pulse Pingu is yeah. free. And that is the end of that attack. Uh, that shut down a... with the two ultimates rather efficiently, Skate. Pulse Pingo just timed that right. Knew the Reinhardt was down and, and there was nothing that the side of Baihu could do there to stop that bomb and the great placement right there on the corner of the uh, of the auto shop there. Nowhere for Baihu to go. It was actually a really good bomb placement now that I think about it. That <laughs> that went exactly where they wanted it to. Absolutely floated that in there. Uh, yeah, it, over was the like, top it was like a nice again. little, uh, you know, approach shot from a, from a good yeah. golfer. Just Ooh. put it right where he wanted it. <laughs> yeah. Useful. Coming over the top again is the pressure. Drunken Gizmo starting things off early with the pick on Mortal Meister. They'll throw in their own nano boost. They try and get okay. the high unit off, but Cosmic Owl. Okay. Throwing the town here. <laughs> Charging into the back line, sectioning off Mortal Meister, and they'll throw oh. the bomb in. Cosmic Owl does go down, but isn't enough to turn this around. Pulse Pingu is still trying to fight it out here. Pulse Pingu eventually brought down, but the Reinhardt not in the game at the moment. Only a baby diva on the other side. Mortal Meister will finish off Nebula. They'll continue to push. Nobody's on the here. point. Mortal oh. Meister 
finally goes down, but they're going to get a solid recontest here. How quickly can Cosmic Al get back in? Well, just in time, apparently answered the question there. Uh, Vint Troll dropping in a fire strike on the top side. Can't quite dive in. The alt advantage is here in favor of Baihu at the moment. They need to get something that really sticks here, though. Fire Strike coming in as well. Bob getting thrown towards the point. Mortal Meister taken out early. Pingu going in and pressuring the Ash and Chiss off the high ground. Chiss will go down, but the kill's coming in fast and furious on the front line where it's Cosmic Owl. Uh, just kind of swinging away. High Noon coming in here, just trying to zone out a little bit, and they'll take out Spider. That just leaves Salty Irishman floating around, and they'll get brought down. And sure enough, Skate, they'll complete a second one. Oh, no. No. Well, yeah, they did get the point. Oh. And unfortunately, that's going to be a slow respawn for Mortal Meister. A little bit of a stagger here. Uh, by who? Everything is coming up by who right now. Everything is coming up by who. That was a great little bit of play there. They used their ults wisely and judiciously. They got what they needed to get done. They got the picks. And they're ahead in alt economy right here. And they're ahead in alt economy. They're coming around the corner, pressing forward here, and a lot of space being given up to them right now. Pulse Pingu getting up on the high ground, immediately driven off, but here comes Spider into the back line. They only just noticed the Reaper who fades off and backs away. Didn't quite get the kill on the honor that he was looking for, but still lurking back there. Will rotate back up to that high ground again. Speaking of the high ground, Mortal Meister on the oh. other side of the garage getting brought down there. And the card now finally getting stalled out by Ventral Island. Good dynamite over the backside will zone out the healers just a little bit here. Is the pressure enough though? Over the top is rubber vibration on the McCree trying to get in. They'll throw in the nano boost, counter nano boost coming out. The charge, counter charge, throw in the bomb as well. The shatter just half a second too late to take full advantage of the bomb. And look at the kill box they've made My on the word. side of the defense. Dignity coming in from both sides and closing it down. Yeah, Pulse Pingu actually opened that up with the flank on the on that diva able to get up on drunken gizmo and get both drunken gizmo and slice law so able to get one of the dps and the pocket mercy with the micro rockets there indeed well mortal meister back secure in a high ground position we'll throw in some fire nebula coming up to throw them out cosmic owl coming in through the tunnel with rubber vibration They'll take out Spider, but not before they lose Slice Sloth. They've got a good positioning here to try and oh, make out Oh my lord! Now that's an anti nade Bombs getting traded there. Thrown in over the top. They will lose the mech. I don't think it was quite enough there. Nebula pushes forward, trying to get a little bit of space. They'll lose Rubber Vibration again. Meister just going to work here in the back line. Meister almost trying to bait the res. Didn't quite get a chance for it. Meister gets flushed out though might not make it through that no he'll go down so the fight will have to recenter on the cart eventually running out of time here as they begin to push forward chunking in damage on the front line oh ventral island going down early there's the bomb over the back side gets two huge bomb from pulse pingu to try and seal the deal on this one as spider charges forward on top of that chaos and gets the pick and it does look like this is as far as no attack visor comes out and yes this is as far as by who will go today yeah, Cosmic Owl there got that early pin, and it looked like that was to be what propelled Baihu to get that third point. But Pulse Pingu throwing the bomb over the top and then being, you know, the opportunist that a Reaper DPS is. We see Spider come in and hit the Y button and do die, die, die all over the, the Reinhardt and get a couple because the Reinhardt had to choose whether he wanted to block the Reaper alting or the Diva. Uh, bomb coming out so there was no real good place for him to be he had to pick his poison as to which he wanted to die to and unfortunately that ended up being three picks and it swung it completely back the other way yeah indeed it was a it was a solid effort i think there by by who but again uh the kind of stuff that we've been seeing all night with these like almost pushes not quite getting in and uh yeah, I mean, they had a couple of opportunities there where the picks had gone their way and it looked like things were going to turn around and the door was just shut on them. Uh, yeah, and we'll it looked like they had all the momentum going into that third point too. And it seemed like, I think, 
it dignity just seemed to play well with those those high ground flanking options that they're able to do with that dps and that was really the deep the difference they never really got set up with the flanks on the defense before that third point and that kind of that kind of changed things we'll have to see how it works on attack form if they can get that kind of momentum that we saw by who have on that attack Indeed, well, they're set up on the defense now with the Rhine Diva on the high ground. Not a lot of variation from what we've seen all night from either of these two teams. And our Spider on the Widowmaker looking to try and get something early on. Trying to get an angle for the hook shot. There it is. No luck to be had there, though. I might try it again in a second. Definitely seeing Mortal Meister come charging into the backside with a little bit of Genji dash. Can't quite make it stick. Nebula in a dangerous position, rolls back to the rest of the team on top of the garage as the fight just continues. Pulse Pingu there taking a little bit of damage. Oh, Ryan's isolated. Oh, no. oh, no. Cosmic Owl slept and charged on the low ground, and that cracks the defense open like an egg. It's just the two supports here trying to hold on at the end, and they unfortunately will not make it stick. Yeah, I think with the DPS combo that we see Dignity running here, that Genji and that Widow, you're going to want to be grouped up. And they got separated and spread out. You had the tank separated from the DPS and the healers. You're going to have to play a lot tighter if you're going to want to have an impact in defending this point. Well, here comes the pressure again on the front side. Oh, Dragon Blade coming out early there, but the kill feed entirely blue as the defenders completely shut down trying to push in. And now just falling back has done a tremendous job in charging that ultimate very, very quickly. I don't know how he's doing it, but he has found a way to charge that thing insanely quick. Breakneck speeds. Oh, bomb! Ooh, bomb over the top. Cheeky doesn't get anyone, though, unfortunately. It wasn't badly placed at all. Mortal Meister up there on the high ground is driven off by the combined efforts of Nebula and Rubber Vibration, but they'll lose Slice Sloth early on. Now they'll lose Nebula, too. Oh, and just rolling through the streets phase is Dignity. Really not slowing down at all. Finally, maybe a bit of a pause here, trying to oh. hunt down Drunken Gizmo on the outside edge. But again, I don't know, Chiss in a dangerous position, gets spotted by the D.Va and is dived on almost immediately. Oh, they this do is close Stagger down City on here. it, but no, yeah, it is Stagger City indeed, Skate, because they've lost the Ana now. Ventral Island pushing oh. way forward to shut down the res. They will get Chiss back in on the action, but Chiss almost completely walled off here by the Reinhardt until the rest of the team can come in and help. Oh and my, solo that's a shatter. solo shatter. And charged. Oh my lord. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, Chiss. Rough. <laughs> you hate to see it. You hate to see it. Yeah, as you a do support actually, main, I hate sad. being solo yeah, shattered. That's, uh, that's nasty. Ouch. I felt that. <laughs> yeah, I, I've been there. I, I feel for you, Chiss. <laughs> yeah. As we well, see some I... flanking tanks here. Yeah, dropping into the back line. They're trying to collapse, but they can't quite get there fast enough. Cosmic Owl is brought down early on. Nebula trying to get out. Won't make it as Pulse Pingu brings him down. And again, Baihu having to back up, and they've got four minutes and 50 seconds to hold this very small amount of ground. And Nano Boost coming in very early. Reaper, unfortunately, not able to take full advantage of it, trying to clean out that room on the top edge. Oh, no. Hello, Mortal Meister dropping in from above with the blade. Getting right in the thick of the action as Ventral Island throws in a charge as well. That'll force out the monkey alt there. The shatter did come in, but too little too late as the payload just starts to go forward. And Baihu really in all sorts of danger here. Mortal Meister unstoppable on the Genji. Just is tearing him apart and they won't get the touch. And unfortunately, Baihu just getting crushed there at the end. Oh no, yeah, it just kind of... You feel like the will was kind of broken after the first point on the side of Baihu. There was just no answer for what uh, Mortal Meister was doing this map. That, th this Genji play was phenomenal. He was all over on the attack here. Oh. Ow, 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 indeed. Mortal Meister really making that Genji work. Uh, you know, you don't see it as often as you used to, but here in T3 Xbox Overwatch, 32% uh, of the team's damage as well. So great play oh, my word. Out from Mortal Meister. Good stuff. Impressive play by the DPS. And, uh, and a tip of the cap, too, for Handy Hipster. Those anti-nades all night long were... Or something to deal with and 
You know, if you're landing them, like I said at the beginning of that map, and you don't have the Zarya to really help you, you're just kind of, you know, you're just kind of DOA there. There's not a lot you can do about it. Indeed, there is not. We'll be pushing into our mid-game break here in just a second. Plenty more Overwatch to come, though. We have a whole other game after this on PS4. It'll be Archangels DSA versus the Wholesome Squad, brought to you by Maza and Swift with our wonderful Sultan on production. <laughs>
Hello and welcome back to Friday Night Overwatch. That was a really solid game, uh, depending on, I guess, who you're rooting for. Um, Dignity with a very strong pro performance, and Bayou just could not quite get the motor started throughout that game. Um, unfortunately for them, it was uh, um, kind of just uphill sledding the entire time. And actually, uh, looking at my notes, I think they, they do only have just the one map win from week one. So definitely trying to figure out where the weaknesses are, where the gaps are, where they can improve. Uh, welcome back. If you're just not joining us, welcome. Uh, this is our Friday Night Overwatch. We're going to do this weekly. We've got another game coming up for you here in just a second. It's the Arcade SA versus the Holston Squad. While we're thinking about it, want to get a couple news and notes, I guess, analysis of that last match from our casters. We've got Corbic, Maza, Skate, and uh, Swift ready to break down the action from that first game. And uh, Corbic, obviously, I'm calling that game. I know in the intermission there, we were kind of talking a little bit about uh, some of the stuff you guys noticed. <laughs> um maybe a little bit more long form than intended but uh, i guess give me your thoughts uh <laughs> what what you saw in that game and obviously dignity coming out of nowhere four no to start the season yeah we were just discussing it while uh replays were playing there and uh, dignity really i think uh the the tail of the tape at least for them was just a really strong show of uh coordination over by who you you really felt like everybody was on the same page the, the the plays were popping off and i mean i know some of the other guys here definitely saw some things that i probably missed when i was doing the play-by-play -play in terms of their ability <laughs> to coordinate but you really felt like they were a team that even if they haven't been playing together for a while uh and we don't know actually know how long they've been playing together but even if they haven't been playing together for a while they really like have that coordination down and everything just fell into place exactly how they wanted it to pretty much the entire match yeah this it, it, we talked about it a little bit in uh in pre -game about how a few of these came off of a, a few of these players came from a nether team that actually disbanded so they haven't been playing completely together for a long time but uh you wouldn't know it by watching them. That, like you said, they, I think the the coordination, the communication was great on their on their side. They they were able to coordinate not only alts but positioning, flanking, different team strategies that they wanted to do, and they were quick quick on it. They were they were a little bit faster than Baihu, and I think that was a big sign of of things to come for them moving forward in the season. Yeah, they did a really good job as soon as the fight would break out identifying who the key target was right picking out the win condition and then just shutting it down for baihu because there were a few times especially on volskaya point one Baihu got full held on point one but there were a few times where it looked like the point was one Baihu had it and it, they managed to just like quickly identify who who's shutting them down and just take them out of the fight and then just it's kind of all downhill from there Yeah, I, I believe, Maza, you saw them doing some plays that you thought were really impressive, or at least you were talking about it in the replay. Wh which one was that, though? I actually, I forgot. No, so, uh, <laughs> Chelsea Ashman was getting some quality reses. I think, I think really was the Mercy play that played dividends, like, really, like, significantly. Just, you know, constantly, you, you would see Bayou get a pick and then immediately get res back up and hope a Lucio to speed boost into that fight and capitalize on that pick. The res rush, resurrection comes up and, boom, you know, it's a... Uh, 66 again and you know just the better skill at that point dignity is going to going to win out we saw a lot of really good shatter bomb combos just the coordination with the uh the reinhardt diva was really on point and the genji play you love to see genji get played it's a rarity now but you know when it came out it's, you know phenomenal and fast each one of those blades it was like that and he had it he was there so was, quick at charging a slight that genji buff recently with the uh the vertical uh it's a bit faster yeah. now, so it's. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Wait, wait, yeah. Did you say vertical shurikens? Not vertical. It's like the, uh, it's like the arch. You know, it's like the. uh so it's like three, like in a. Uh, the 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 three the fan first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, fan, yeah. Uh, okay, all right. I'm with you now. <laughs> For a moment, I was like, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> they, they throw vertically, like. No, no, no. It's horrible. Just aim center of mass and get the headshot. What's happening? <laughs> yeah, you don't know how to do that. It's a trick. You have to like hold your yeah. controller sideways and they nah, go. Nah, it's a support bait, isn't he? <laughs> yeah. yeah, spoken like a what Zygon would player. Uh, what would get, out get out of here! Get out of here! Hey, listen, you know, listen. Actually, that would be pretty cool for Genji, though. I'm not gonna. Yeah, it would be. <laughs> it would be a little burst. Uh, yeah, you're welcome, Jeff. Something. That one was free. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll be expecting you to consult for others. That's Take that one with you. Um, Killer. So that was that was T three. Um, so those were for for everyone in chat who was asking like what the, how the tiers work and what those look like. 
Well, most of those players are primarily between diamond and like low to mid masters. Yeah. Um, it, it kind of makes up that roster. So that was a tier three team. Coming up here, we have tier five, and so tier five is going to be you're going to you're, you're going to start to creep into top five hundred in this tier. Is that right? Uh, I'm pulling up the tier bands right now. Yeah, you've got a you've got a team average there of over four thousand for your for your six highest players. So yeah, you're gonna start yeah. creeping into that territory. Yeah, for sure. So it's gonna be, I, I don't, I, you know, I, I'm I'm never that guy that's like it's a different type of play. But I mean, to your point, like some of the big issues that we were seeing with some of the coordination and and a little bit of game sense. So I'm interested. Like, what do you think we're gonna see? Do you, what differences do you think we're gonna see coming in through? Uh, Tier five matchup here between Wholesome Squad and well, Death Streak Assassins. We we did get some comments actually from uh, the teams. So with uh, Archangels here, uh, we we do get note that they, they are going to be running some not meta compositions. That's from their uh, their captain Nice Yeti, basically. Saying, uh, yeah, so some strategies that to put into terms are are not meta. Whereas Wholesome Squad is very comfortable with double barrier. So I, I think uh, you know could potentially see some. Overwatch League Championship uh, last season uh, compositions, you know, uh, one is Felucio, you can run that Sigma, Orisa, Doomfist, Reaper, so potentially that could be coming out. Oh, okay. See? Off meta, man. You, you like to see it, and it, it's it's a place I think where you can get pretty creative down here. Uh, you know, even at that level of gameplay, you can get pretty creative. So it'll be interesting. That would be interesting for me to see at least what what some of these teams can put together. And and I think responding to the challenge of these hero bands with creative team structure or or team plays is, is one of the most interesting parts about the entire hero band system. Uh, whether you like it or not, it it is really interesting to watch teams sometimes just completely change their style of play. Uh, to equal whatever the hero bands are that week, or to figure out ways to take advantage of the hero bands. It should be noted. I like it, man. In uh, particular, we're only in comp for like three days, so it's not like these, these aren't the Overwatch League bands, obviously. So uh, just the right. Right. So it's not. It's not like you know we saw. We saw not like these teams saw what works in Overwatch League for this meta, uh, operating a week behind, obviously. So you know anything really goes at this point. I would say. Yeah, pure raw experimentation power <laughs> down here in console watch. <laughs> Looking forward to seeing what they can muster out there, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, it's it's kind of nice, though. I, I like having the bands. Uh, at first, it, it was kind of annoying, but I, I like that you can't... I mean, it adds a little bit of flavor to it, and you can't just uh, one-trick your way around. Yeah, and, and we've already seen it play in, I think, with that first match, how we saw... The, the big anti-nades, you don't have the Zarya to, to kind of clean it up if your tanks take those right on the nose for you. There's no answer for it. And you don't have, like as Maza alluded to, you don't have that speed boost to get in there when you smell blood in the water. So you're missing two staples, I would say, in current meta in Lucio and Zarya. So you, you do have to exercise that creative bone that you have a little bit and to what swift was mentioning earlier kind of the differences between maybe like the tier three matchup versus the tier five that you're getting ready to watch on the ps4 side there's a, a little bit of uh i think you'll see a lot more coordinated attacks and that being said i think you will also see teams knowing when to back out and you see less snowballing at that tier than you might see at uh at tier three that we saw at the end of a few of those maps where the teams just there's an instinct to it to know okay we just got to stop and regroup here and i think you see that a lot better at the higher tiers what's actually really interesting too about these two teams is that yeah okay yeah um archangels is one and two the map record is five and eight but if you actually take a look at these team schedules yeah uh, <laughs> it's it's actually insane like they both lost one one three to maelstrom they uh, both in so in preseason, uh, there was a, a victory actually for uh, Wholesome Squad against Vendetta, and just recently we saw Angels beat Vendetta as well, three two. So we both had a three two victories over Vendetta. So it's actually quite like these teams are, might be very equal, honestly, despite the, the map record right now looking in favor of Arc. Yeah, I did notice that too when I was reviewing the map records. I was like, man, these guys are almost even. And it looks like 
Wholesome squad is on the verge of kind of breaking out. The, the way the season started, they went 0-4 in week one, then 1-3 and against Maelstrom. Then last week, 1-2-1 and against Void. They were that close to breaking the door down. So maybe momentum's on their side. Maybe they're starting to get the wind behind their sails and can kind of ride that through this match. Yeah, I mean, there's still, still time to turn it around, right? It's not as if we're, we're completely, uh, you know, out of the woods in the season. And it would be good, I think, for them to have an even matchup. Um, the even matchups are sometimes the best ones, you know? So it'll be, it'll yeah. be good to see what I, they I can muster I, here. I don't think I saw any of their games myself. But even, the thing is, even a, an 0-4 loss can still be a close game, you know? All, all, oh, you absolutely. Know, That's absolutely. true. So, like, it's not, like, you know, the map record might not be, like, the whole story ever. So. That's very true. Very true indeed. Nice. I'm in the process right now. I'm getting but all of these guys in the lobby. It looks like we've got just about all of them. Future Andre. Yeah, so we're just waiting on a couple more players from Death Streak Assassins to pop in here, and then we should be good to go. Uh, this is going to be a good map pool, right? I, I like these maps. Um, yep. They were close here. The only one that wasn't close was Volskaya. Um, I mean, we all know, I mean, it's Maza's favorite map in the game, so good thing we're going to be seeing it a few times tonight, but uh, uh, 2CP holds a special place in the heart, but... <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> that is true, yeah, Maza, you're not a big fan, are you? It's <laughs> about 2CP saying that, yeah, he recognizes that it is a very flawed game mode, um, that it yeah. should be deleted and it will be gone. No, he didn't He didn't say exactly that as much as I, I don't think those as words much came as you out wished, at all. That's not the tone of that. <laughs> it's removed. It, it, yeah, it's, it's so bad. So bad. Now, what, I mean, so what is your, what do you think your major, like, what's the major objection you have to it? Just out of curiosity. Um, I, just I'm not a fan. Thing. I'm just curious. The environment, <laughs> this coordination needed, and how it's so defended, sorry, defender uh, favored, like, it's I'm just preposterous, man. I hate 2CP. It's complete trash. It's, you know. <laughs> I love it. I love that you have yeah. strong opinions about it. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's, I think it's a, it can be a frustrating game mode sometimes. I, I feel like I understand perhaps what their initial intent was when they added it to the game, but I feel like it doesn't really live up to um, the expectation that a lot of people, or I guess that they had when they in, in, in originally designed it. Um, Volskaya as it goes like I think is is not the worst 2 CP map but it certainly no. has some right. challenging aspects to it what, one of the changes I will like to see at 2 CP is actually just make it 25% tick you know make it that like having that one person on yeah. the objective actually creates like a pretty big threat at that point so like it forces yeah. you know defenders up the high ground quicker and you know perhaps make space so that's you know something that you know I met Jeff Kaplan actually Overwatch League Grand Finals for Media Day I should have just told him dude why <laughs> One, two, three, three. And so, so I just talked about hockey basically for you know two hours, not it's like uh, twenty minutes or so. But oh, that's nice. Oh yeah. Well, you know what, what you gonna do? I, it's in the game mode. They gotta play it. Uh, I mean, I do think that I mean, with the we could have made our schedule better. You know, we could have. Said, you know what? We're, like, we're gonna run a completely two CP free league. You know, and <laughs> oh. we're just gonna have teams play payload twice or something. They already play. They can play King of the Hill twice. You know, just to yeah. do payload twice. Boom. Tom's Technically, they could they could play King of the Hill twice anyway. To be fair, uh, if it if it's all squares, he's going into the end. But yeah, fair enough. Um, looking forward to to see and like kind King's of throw in there all boys. You know, there's no reason why like, King's Row shouldn't be in the map pool every single. <laughs> King's Row tournament only. I mean, it's in every scrim map pool. That's for sure. That uh, Li Zhang, like Li those Zhang, are the only yeah. two maps you play. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, it's, it's, I feel like sometimes it's impossible to escape Li Zhang. Anyway, uh, yeah, well, good luck, boys. I hope you enjoy the match. Thank you. you know, I'm sure it'll be a banger. Looking forward to it for sure. Yeah, it looks like we are good to go. We're going to go ahead and pull this up for both of the teams. Looks like we're ready to go. First map, Oasis. Kick this sucker off.